Feminist Creatives presents a word for every generation that knows no fashion. Greetings. I hope and trust I find you well. Welcome back to MNS Creativers. We've been apart. As we meet in the month of February, the world over celebrates love, and I am impressed to share with you on a devotional titled Unusual Attractions. Come with me to the book of First Chronicles. We begin at chapter 12, at verse number 1. The Bible reads as follows. The following were the man who came to David at Ziklag, while he was still banned from the presence of Saul, son of Kish. They were among the warriors who helped him in battle. They were archers who could use either the right or left hand, both to sling stones and shoot arrows from a bow. They were Saul's relatives from Benjamin. I invite you to spend a moment in prayer as the Lord blesses the reading of his word. Let us pray. Kind and gracious Father in the heavens above, thank you, dear Lord, for the privilege of life and the positions where you have placed us. Some have attracted love, but we seek to attract loyalty this morning, to attract even those who will not walk with us so that they may come to our side Build this enterprise that we want to build for our namesake and above all for your glory. May your name be lifted up in the enterprises, in the businesses where we serve. In Jesus' name we pray and we ask. Amen. My good friends, allow me as the custom is to share just five points as we take off. I want you to notice something. Read on and skip to verse number four. It provides as follows. Ishmael. The Gibeonite, a warrior among 30 and a leader over 30. Who were these Gibeonites? The Gibeonites were the descendants of the Amorites. And they were not only the descendants of the Amorites, they were actually natives of the Canaanite land. And these are men who were later on killed by Saul one by one. These men, besides being locals, they find themselves attracted to David to go and swear allegiance to him and be governed by a foreigner in their homeland. How I pray that this morning the Lord may bless you, that you will attract those who should be entitled to the positions where you serve to come and be of service unto you. I also want you to notice something. These men do not only just go over and serve. They are following at the heels of those who have already gone to serve and they are kinsmen of Saul. The Bible records that these men were craftsmen. They were soldiers par excellence. What could they do? They could sling with the left in as much as they could sling with the right. These were the Benjamites. If you could hold up the flock of your hair, the Benjamite will sling a stone and knock off just that one flock of hair and nothing else. They were pinpoint accurate. These are men and women who are practical. These are men and women who are exceptional. These are men and women who are technical. As you go out into your enterprise in the month of love, why won't you attract the best of the best? The Benjamites, those who are going to leave their kinsmen and come and be of service unto you. This is the blessing that I pray upon your life. And at sea, what you're also going to notice is this. While you are at it, setting up systems, you want to make sure that you recognize people based on their contributions and not on their places of origin. These Benjamites are men and women who have been akin or even related to so. Will you work with those who are related to your enemies and recognize them for the talent that they have? Will you work even with the local persons and recognize them for their contribution. These are the Gibeonites. Many a time we've had situations whereby companies move in and what do they do? They displace all the locals and they work with people that they have come with. Who is going to recognize the Gibeonite, the man of the land, the woman of the land, and work with them, attract the women of the land and, and men of the land 
and work with them. And now let us move on to point number four. I also want you to notice this. Read with me from verse six. Elkanah, Ishia, Azaro, Joeza, Jehoshabim, the Kohathites. They also came and followed David. Yet another unusual attraction. Why do I say they were unusual? an unusual attraction? These were the descendants of Kohath, the son of Levi. Who were the Kohathites? One of their forebears by the name Korah teamed up with Dathan in rebellion against Moses and Aaron. And they said, who has given you the prerogative to speak to God? God has also spoken unto us. And they went on to challenge Moses in rebellion. And they wanted the civil authority. They went on to challenge Aaron and they sought the priestly office. And the Lord said, let it so happen that whosoever shall bring incense before the Lord and it shall be accepted. He shall be recognized as the anointed or appointed one of the Lord. As they went out to do so, the Lord struck them right there with their censers and they died on the spot. Their censers were considered to have been sacrificed unto the Lord and they were hammered into an altar that was used there. These are the Kohathites, people who have a history of rebellion, people who have a history not to comply. This month of love, if only you could be like David and have an unusual attraction, attract people who have a history like that so that as they come through, they will make a difference. They will walk a different path when they have come into your, into your space. This is what happens with the Kohathites. They were not only rebellious people. Their forefathers were in charge of the security and the defense of the temple. These men were defense strategists of the time. They were actually uh, entrusted with carrying the treasure of the temple. And I am saying, if only the Lord could speak into your life this morning and impress upon you that you need to attract people of pedigree, strategists, people who can do what needs to be done, people who are tried and tested, people who have come through and they have matured in the trade, the Kohathites. If only you could attract these unusual attractions when everyone else is attracting love, attract these qualities. Quality number one, people who are practical, technical, people who are exceptional, like the Benjamites who could sling a stone and throw it at a person and hit just the flock of their hair with that terrible exactness and accuracy. Number two, you want to attract the Gibeonites, people who are local, people who will not mind to be led by you and swear allegiance unto you. These are people that you need to attract. And thirdly, while you are attracting the Benjamites and the Gibeonites, take time to recognize talent and do not judge them based on their history. Do not judge them based on who they are related to. Do not judge them based on the tribe they emanate from. Some of them are not going to have such a clean record like the Kohathites. Even if you're dealing with the Kohathites, seek to foster peace so that they may comply. Seek to work with them so that they can buy into the vision and they will be an engagement when they are fully engaged. Make sure you're looking out for people who are tried and tested in the particular, in the particular sphere where you want to operate. David attracted battle strategists, defense strategists. What is your area? What is your niche? If you are into the IT, make sure you are attracting people who are proven in that field. If you're in education, attract people who are proven in that field. If you are in a faith-based entity, attract people who hold and espouse the same values and philosophies. These are the people that I pray the Lord will impress upon you to attract. They are unusual, but they are available. If only the Lord can go out and bring them unto us. A moment to pray with you, my dear friends. May the good Lord bless us as we go out to attract unusual talent, to attract those who will do better to attract those who will not need to be supervised, but are going to be prompted by the unction of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, I pray for those 
who have taken time to watch this devotional. May you attend to their spaces. May you prosper their enterprises. May you even lift them up and imbue them with the love that enveloped David until it attracted people who could build his army right in Ziklag until he made his way from Hebron to Jerusalem. Be with us until we meet again on Friday. In Jesus' name, amen.